एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम नरेंद्र कौर नाउ वी विल कवर द टॉपिक अबाउट द कैरियर वेव एंड हाउ द मॉड्यूलेशन अकर इन द साइनोसाइडल इन्वर्टर्स If you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chand Publishing. E-book link has been given in the description box. So now next is that about the carrier waves. Carrier wave is basically the wave which co which covers the basically which carries the signal over it. which carries a signal or you can say that which follows the path by a reference wave now if the if this is a dc power supply here this is a vdc then its reference wave is given by like this this is a reference wave of because input is given as constant so this is a dc power supply here this is a reference wave now when the power supply is ac if the power supply is ac instead of dc then what will be the reference wave then the reference wave that will be the sinusoidal wave so this will be the reference wave so that is a sinusoidal wave okay now what will be the kind of carrier wave so carrier wave will be given by the next component which is attached to this input so firstly this is a reference wave or you can say that the input value so this is the input value when the uh, dc power supply is given so this is a constant wave wave this is a reference wave while when the ac power supply is given so this is a reference wave which is includes the positive and the negative half cycles now depending upon the component which is next attached to this there comes an carrier wave so carrier wave will fall, tries to follow this signal so when when this is now when this is connected to capacitor or you can say that when it is connected to inductor say so when this power supply you can that if there is an ac power supply and this is connected to an inductor inductor now this is a reference wave and across this path will be will be followed by this inductor so according means when it is positive there is a positive half cycle so in the inductor the flux will introduce like this so that will be charge positive over here negative over here means it will tries to follow this path and according to faraday's law emf induced in this case that will oppose the cause so due to this here the emf which is induced in this case that will oppose the cause which produces it that will be in the opposite direction again when there is a negative half cycle according to which there comes negative and positive again the which is the current flow which will introduce a flux in the opposite direction so that will oppose the cause which produces it so here in this case inductor case the carrier wave that will be like this so this is the carrier wave over here now the resultant of these two the carrier wave and the reference wave they will superimpose on each other to get to to give us the resultant wave now how they superimpose on each other now the reference wave now if this is a reference wave and this is a carrier wave both of them they will superimpose on each other 
to give us the resultant wave or you give us the comparative wave. Instead of write, uh, saying the word resultant, you can say the comparative wave. So, comparative wave that will be combination of these two. So, the comparative wave So, that is is a combination of carrier wave and reference wave. So, this will be the combination of these two. Now on superimposing these two we will get the resultant wave that will be represented like this. Means the part where the positive and positive they superimpose in each other we will get here. This will be the comparative wave. Again that will cancel out then we will get no output value will be there. Again this is the So, this is will the comparative wave in this case. So, here the comparative wave that means that is given by this value over here. Now, on plotting this we will get so the comparative wave This is called pulse width modulation in the sinusoidal inverter. Here this is inverted over here and also both the waves carrier wave and reference wave they superimpose on each other and their value is get modulated over here. So, this is called pulse width modulation. So, this is a resultant wave or you can say that here is a comparative wave. So, the comparative wave is on combining these two the comparative wave can be written as now depending upon the frequency of carrier wave and reference wave the frequency of this comparative wave that can be calculated. So, it is frequency of this wave f if this is a comparative wave then f c that is given by that is a comparative this is a carrier wave divided by 2 f. So, this is a formula in order to calculate frequency of this comparative wave. So, frequency of this comparative wave you can write this as f m also. So, the f m that can be calculated f c by 2 f what is f c here? This is the frequency of carrier wave that means it will define the number of waves per second to the carrier wave means this is defined as the number of uh, wavelets or the number of waves crossing per second. What is F? F is the frequency of reference wave. Means the path which is followed by the carrier wave over the reference wave it has frequency given by F. So, that is the number of wavelets crossing per second of the reference wave. So, this is a combined frequency of the comparative wave. So, comparative wave have frequency fm. So, from this we can calculate its time period also. So, the time period
of comparative wave that is given by 1 by fm so time period that is equal to reciprocal of the frequency that is 1 by fm which is equal to 2 f by fc now in terms of time period if you calculate so that is equal to tc divided by 2 into t a reference wave that is 2 if this is tm then you can write that f t c by 2 t what is t c over here that is a time period time period of carrier wave and t that is a time period of reference wave So, this is a sinusoidal modulation formula. So, now in the second part, we have covered the topic a carrier wave and then the reference wave and how they superimpose on each other to give the comparative wave and some important definitions which includes frequency and time period of comparative wave. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chance Publishing ebook link has been given in the description box if you like this video please like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for the future notifications of the copyright holder